Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja, and today I want to talk to you and give you a warning. If you're thinking about fixing your own crawl space, and also stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to share with you what I feel is the number one thing you should tackle in your crawl space to begin to make it healthy. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to attics, basements, crawl space, and duct work in order to fix your indoor air quality problems, improve your energy efficiency, and make your home more comfortable. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring the notifications bell. So recently we released a video with Ryan who serves in the United States Air Force, and he and I talked about uh, some of the things that he was able to do in his crawl space and and he offered some great tips So I'm gonna put a link to that video down below, but it got me thinking Okay, because we had another situation where one of our Locations had a DIYer that began to fix their crawl space and did not complete it And I wanted to share with you the warning that I was talking about Ryan finished the crawl space through to the end. He said it was one of the toughest things he's ever done. While the other homeowner put up some plastic on the walls and wrapped a couple of pillars and then decided, hey, I'm done. This is too difficult. The reason why I feel like people are DIYers in the first place is number one, they may not trust the companies that are out there to service their home. Number two, they may not just want to spend the money. They may have the money, but they may not want to spend the money. Number three, they may not have the money. You got a huge situation, huge problem in your home, and you just don't have the money. So you're gonna do the project yourself to save money. And the fourth reason why I feel like people are DIYers is they just enjoy it. They like the sense of accomplishment. They like working with their hands, whether it's their car or their home or whatever it is. So those are what I feel like four great reasons why people decide to DIY. By the way, if you like this video, we hope you'll like this video down below and tell me your reasons why you are a DIYer. Now the warning again with the DIYer is that if you're going to start the project and not finish it, you're not gonna save any money. This is the part I want to talk to you about because this person went out, bought all of the stuff to do the crawl space, began doing the crawl space and then called Crawl Space Ninja and probably several other contractors to come out and look at the project. And the money isn't really in saving on the product, the money is saving on the labor, okay? So a couple of things to think about. If you bought plastic from someone and you ask us to install it, we're not gonna warranty the plastic because it's not the plastic that we use. So number one, you're gonna lose out on a vapor barrier warranty or a DHU warranty or some other form of warranty because we're not gonna warranty those products that you bought from other companies. The second thing to remember is that the cost of encapsulating a crawl space is in the labor, okay? Plastic is not that expensive, but installing it can be expensive depending on the size of your crawl space, just like drywall, right? I mean, you can go and buy a four by eight sheet a piece of drywall and the mud and all that kind of stuff, but try put, getting somebody to put it up and do a good job at, at fixing it. That's the hard part. That's the part that you pay for is the labor and the expertise and the professionalism. Okay, so this gentleman that decided to go out and buy all these DIY products, all that is irrelevant in the price whenever you hire a contractor to do the crawl space. And here's what HomeAdvisor.com says about those of you out there that want to encapsulate your own crawl space. Encapsulation is a job for a professional. Do not try this as a do-it-yourself project. For skilled homeowners, there are a few situations that might be safe to pursue on your own. When a house is new, it, has less, it is less likely to have mold pests and extensive damage. Well, first of all, that's not true. I have been in brand new houses that were covered with mold and had rats and raccoons everywhere. So now granted, you may not have that situation all the time, but remember that a new construction house is using wet wood. They drop the wood off 
at the job site, it got rained on, then they put your house together, the wood's still wet, so it can grow mold, okay? You'll need to carefully address your home size needs before gathering materials as well. Again, that's a, another good point that they have, is that if you're going to encapsulate your crawl space, make sure you uh, check out Crawl Space Ninja's DIY channel because we help you in that area, or of course you can call one of our customer service reps if you need help in figuring out what kind of materials you need to encapsulate your own crawl space. So I just wanted to share with you that about what uh, HomeAdvisor.com says because it's a very, very difficult job to do on your own. If you're a casual DIYer, you may not want to tackle encapsulating your own crawl space because if you get halfway through with it or a little bit through with it, you're not going to wind up saving any money. So the moral of the story is start and finish the encapsulation. If you're not planning on finishing it, don't start it. As Ryan said in his video, it took him 10 days plus being off work every day to do his crawl space. So if you're going to tackle this thing just on a Saturday, you could be looking at 10 plus weeks of Saturdays that it's going to take to fix your own crawl space. Oh, and one last thing. Don't forget to register for that free April Air Dehu. I'm going to put a link to that video down below so you and your family could potentially win a free April Air 1820 dehumidifier. And look, obviously, I believe you could fix your own crawl space. I mean, after all, we have a DIY store. So I'm not in the line of thinking with homeadvisor.com. My only advice to you is if you're planning on fixing your crawl space, your basement, your attic, whatever it is you're thinking about doing, just make sure you plan on finishing it because it's gonna wind up costing you more money. So now I wanna share with you the first thing I feel like every uh, DIYer should tackle whenever they're doing their crawl space. That is control humidity, okay? Controlling humidity is the building block for making sure the rest of the project goes well. The only exception to that rule is if your crawl space is flooding a lot. If you're in an area where you get constant flooding of your crawl space, I would maybe tackle those two problems at the same time before worrying about vapor barrier, mold, or anything else. So my name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja, and I hope you found this information useful, and please like this video down below, and I hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later.